right, hello everyone and welcome to the designcourse.com YouTube channel and in this free video tutorial we're going to be covering the creation of a custom letter R. And the reason I'm doing that is because on the designcourse.com slash forums we're having a design challenge and that is for creating a sci-fi slash high-tech stylized letter R. All right, and so there's still time left to actually enter this competition at least at the time of recording this uh, video and the, the, all the requirements are here it's free to enter uh, submission deadline is August 1st so if you're watching this after that well obviously you can't enter but we already got quite a bit of submissions but today's Monday it ends Friday you still have some time if you want to enter this alright so I'm just gonna do uh, my take or I'm just gonna do my own entry for this so the first thing we're gonna do is go to file new and we're going to name this R and I'm going to choose 859 by 600 pixels and I'm using that because it just fits well at 100% with my current resolution and then RGB we have here raster effects screen 72 and we don't want to align new objects to the pixel grid so hit OK control or command 1 will get you to 100% view right here and we want to go to view and then show grid and then view in snap to grid then we want to go to edit preferences and guides in grid over here grid guideline every or grid line every 72 pixels and subdivisions I have set at 16 all right so hit OK and we want to really pay attention and to snap to the grid and use the grid uh, in order to make sure all of the different weights uh, and throughout the letter form are uh, consistent so what we're gonna do uh, is just block out the basic shape of this thing first so in the middle of one of these uh, overall grids you can see how every six or uh, 72 uh, pixels we have a grid line it's a little bit darker than the rest here in the center of one of those squares using the uh, ellipse tool we want to left click hold shift and alt and drag it to the total of three different grid lines so we have one here or actually four one two three and four alright so I'm gonna move that back down holding shift and yeah I think right there is good and I want to also get rid of the fill so you just click over here you can't see it it's on it's off my screen but it's just the first uh, color swatch on the very upper left hand corner and that gets rid of the fill here all right so stroke I have at one and the second thing we want to do is control C or there's two different ways get control C and then control F or control J oops I'm completely wrong control C and control F Just scale that down holding shift and alt right there all right so basically we have a donut shape all right now what we want to do is take the line segment tool and starting off just over here it, it, it has to be further than this point right here because we're going to create a, an intersection point basically that goes from this way at a 45 degree angle so we want it to extend a little bit further and so hold shift and then have it extend out over here far to the right all right so this is going to be the right section the very edge of the uh, the R right here that comes down and we also want to make sure you have to be absolute certain that these lines are intersecting and the only way they are is if this is on the actual grid so if you take your direct selection tool right here and you take this point left click and then drag it it'll it should snap to this center point right exactly on it same thing with the, with this as well all right so then what we want to do is hit control C control F to duplicate it move that one down right there control C control F move that one down right there and then one more time move this down right there alright so I know it looks a little bit confusing but you'll see how this works really shortly alright so we, we, we need to create a another one and this time it's going to be the 45 degree diagonal line I'm just going to start out here somewhere uh, outside of this point right here and I'm going to hold shift and left click and drag 
and we're just going to go all the way down like that. All right, so the goal here is to actually, I'm a little bit wrong. I think we need to get this over here instead. Okay, there we go. The goal is to have the top portion of the R start right here at this slant and come around and end right here. And so the way we'll do that is using the Shape Builder tool. But first, I want to make sure real quickly that this is indeed snapped to that point. And it is. All right, so if I take everything right now and with the move tool hitting V on the keyboard and we just take a selection on all that or hit control A to select all what we can do is use this tool right here the shape builder now what this allows us to do if we hover over it it lets us it, it kinda just creates a selection depending on where you're you're selecting around so you can see right here if you just left click and drag oops you'll see that it goes over we don't want the center so just these two for now then left click, select those two as well. And that is it. You can see now we have the right portion of our R selected. So now what I want to do is uh, from here, I'm just going to take these two lines, Control C and Control F, and just move them temporarily down here. And I'm just going to delete these extra lines that are not needed. So. I uh, will do this and then this right there. All right, good. Okay, so now what we need to do is create the the bottom part. So what we'll do here is this is going to be slanted on a 45 degree angle as well. So hold shift, left click. There we go. And let's see here. We, what we want this, the way we want this to work is so that this right here extends all the way up and meets on this line. So I'm going to select both of them and move both here so that this is right on that line right there. I'm going to take this and move it up as well. All right, and then I actually I'm going to take both of those and do the same thing because we want to go past just a little bit for the shape builder tool to work correctly. And then I'm going to take another horizontal line and put it right there. Control C, Control F. Hold Shift and drag that down and make sure this also intersects as well. All right, so now at this point, all we have to do is take that shape builder tool. Oops, we have to make sure these are all selected holding shift and select that bottom one and then left click alright so now we can get rid of these pieces right there alright and now at this point we can get rid of the stroke if we wish and give it a fill oops get rid of the stroke and then select over here and you can choose black and there we go and so uh, what you would also do if you're satisfied with this letter you can go to the window pathfinder and make sure you can unite these objects uh, right here and or merge them and so this will now give you one single layer to select both of them and that is it and so this side uh, will work really well for example uh, let me move this over just copy that real quick uh, because of how it's designed there's a lot of uh, white space in between it it's thick it'll work really well on smaller sizes of course so you know if you wanted to further go ahead and work with this object to make more details in it for example uh, you could use these grid lines again to do exactly that so uh, for instance if you wanted to take the we'll just take a rectangle tool real quick and we'll make this white for the fill and we'll start off maybe two grids down and maybe start maybe put in maybe right around there take the direct selection tool 
and give it that same 45 degree angle. Copy that, do the same thing, two grid lines down. Or, yeah, that would see, honestly, that would seem a little bit redundant. I uh, can make this further if you wish. And then leave it like that. Let me move this over real quick. And then what you can do is take both of these, holding shift and just selecting both, and go to Window Pathfinder and clicking this minus front. Oops. If you right click and ungroup those and then click minus front, now we can have a transparent portion right here. And then that way, if you wish uh, to, to add or create an actual font or more letters, you can you know follow that same sort of strategy uh, for the other letters uh, letters as well to create for cr consistency. Uh, but yeah, that is it. So I'm gonna keep mine simple and just stick to the real simple basics, and I'm just gonna sit, submit mine to that contest or the challenge thread just for the heck of it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you learned you know how to use the grid and how to line things up and use the uh, shape builder tool as well to create type. All right, so. As always, make sure you subscribe on this channel here on YouTube and because I'm putting out videos consistently. And I, in addition to that, definitely check out designcourse.com slash premium where I teach you one-on-one -on -one how to become an awesome designer through one-on-one -on -one design training. Also, along with Design Course Wise Banner, and visual, our Viz ID, the Visual Identity Design Course, which is a group of videos that will show you how to design awesome logos and full brand identities. All right, so uh, as always, again, subscribe here, and I will see you on the next video. All right, goodbye.